find someone here. Since the Raspberry Pi is very pricey and exposes many pins and ports, we need to protect it with a case. And there are many out there. Here is what we provide: a safe box with a fan. It fits all the Raspberry Pi versions except the Mini Zero one. This case is a plastic one with slots for ports on the Raspberry Pi, so it can install the board easily, and a small fan inside to cool the board. The Raspberry Pi can give out a lot of heat during its use, so you need to cool it well, otherwise it may not be very durable. So here are all the components for the case: two shelves, a small fan, a few screws for fixing the fan and the case, and four rubber feet. Top shell, this one with a circle of vents, piece of the tail. Put the fan onto the shell like this. With the wire in this side in case of mess in the small space on the other side, and insert the pillars into the holes. Fix them with the screws. Next, install the Raspberry Pi to the lower shell. This can be tricky, so be patient. And before the assembly, make sure the TF card is removed. On this side, first, you can hold the USB cable here, the port. Slowly put it into it. Okay, if you cannot find the perfect place, just try more times. And if you find the right place, just press it slowly. So now the USB cable, the USB ports here. Perfectly fit the slots. You may take a few、uh, trials to complete this. Now the board should be almost fixed to the bottom shell. The holes are perfect here, and the TF card can be easily in and out like this, easily in and easily out. Okay, now this part is done. It's perfect. Holes aligned here, here, perfectly aligned. Okay, now connect the anode and cathode to VCC and GND of the Raspberry Pi. This black wire is the cathode, and this anode. Here and gently combine these two shells. Align the slots. Slowly press it. Okay. So make sure these holes are right in the place, and then. Get the screw to fix it. Okay, now it can be fixed perfectly. You can protect your Raspberry Pi now. Okay, now we can check whether the fan can work. Connect. The power cable. So as long as the Raspberry Pi works, the fan will work too. Okay. And blow off the paper. See? Okay. Hmm. It's cool. And if you want to fix it more on the desk, increase the friction. You can have this. Rubber feet. Let's first unpack it here. Oh, 
nicely done. Now, smooth it on the desk so it won't just bump. Sometimes you may need to change the Raspberry Pi or something. Here's how to take it out. First, unscrew this. And then the TF card here. Take it out. And separate them gently. And then unplug the fan. And press the rest by a little. And take it out gently. Okay. Well, sometimes you may need to connect the GBIO cable here, T cobbler or something. And we considerately leave space for that. You can see the gap here. So let's try one. Let's say if I want to plug this. Sorry, the wrong side. Okay, it's like this. And plug it in. Then the shell back to it. It will be a little tricky, so gently press it. Press it. Okay, that was good here. Here. But if you want to connect the one like this here, so there's no pin available for the fan. And if you need, you need to connect this, so the fan will not work here. But if you connect a smaller one here, it can still work. Okay, thanks for watching.